So if you probably guessed, you can use a subquery in a lot of places in your SQL select statement. So I want to show you now where you can use the subquery in the having clause. And the really cool thing about this is, is that like where we were looking at it with the where clause and using in the in clause, it's a great way to avoid having to hard code values. So the power here is, is that we're able to, you know, look at um, maybe like the average of all customer order summaries. And maybe we knew that it was 25.27. And so we at one point hard coded into our having clause. But, you know, over time, you know, orders change. And so that average would change. So why not just write a subquery that adapts to how our customers change their orders? And then we don't have to worry about it. And we can do that by just slipping in the subquery into the having clause. So let's play with that in our examples. But before we do that, let's talk about some considerations. So the first is, is that the subquery and the having can only um, use fields that are within the group by clause or the result of an aggregate function. So meaning they can only, you know, be using like in this case, the customer ID or the last name, because that's what would be in the group by or part of an aggregate function like here we have the average of the final order price and like every other subquery it needs to be in closed in parentheses all right so let's go dig in look at that example and see how this is all done so to build up this example let's just talk about how we would get the final average order price so here i've just gone out went to the customer order summary and said yo give me the final order price for um every customer order and I said name it average order price and here we have it 25 point I guess that's 28 all right so if I wanted to run this as a old school hard coding method I could just literally just pull this in here and you can see I'm saying get the customer ID the last name uh, let's bring in that you know final order price we're, we're just averaging it in I take this having out and this is just like any other aggregate query and then I have the average order total but really what we wanted to do was get the ones that were in a sense above the average right so let's run this and you can see these are the people that really have orders that are above the average of everybody's average order but I had to hard code it and I hard code it because I knew what this query was so how could I get around this hard coding situation. Well, again, what I can do is just replace this with the subquery. So let's just put the parentheses in there just to start this off. And then literally I can just take this subquery right here. That's not a subquery yet, but I can take this query and I can make it a subquery. So I'm gonna stick it inside these parentheses and then we're gonna make it easier to read for everybody by tabbing it across. And now I'll get rid of this part. And now I have a subquery in the having clause and this will work. I'm going to get rid of this. We don't need this part either. And when I run this, notice I get the same result. If you want, you can also do it like this. Whatever fits your fancy. I probably would do the subquery on one line since it's a little easier to read for me. So there's the internal part that gives us the 25.78 ish number and that's the result that's going to come back from the subquery gets pumped into our having clause so we'll compare that to our average for the final order price and that's how we'll do our selection for which groups we pick back so that's how you can add a subquery to the having clause. It's very easy. Hopefully what you're seeing here is, is that if you have a subquery that can take a scalar value, the scalar can then be used where um, scalar values are expected. Again, like if I didn't have a scalar here and I, I had, was bringing back many results, it won't work. So if I said just select final order price, it's gonna get all mad, right? because it says more than one value is returned. 
because I can't have a having clause that's comparing to a table of results, right? Because this, this right here is actually not one value. It's a whole bunch of results. And the having clause doesn't work that way, right? So, um, but when I look for a scalar value, of course it works. And it's like any other value. I could just put in here the 27 point to eight and it would work and there we go so now you know how to use subquery and having see you in the next lesson